artist Regina Mick here. I wanted to uh, come on and let you guys know that I'm going to be showing work at a new venue. It's the Trezo Meadery downtown on Franklin Street. I have my mother-in-law Crystal here and they gave uh, me a sample box to try with different flavors so I just thought it'd be great to share this with you guys as well so let's try let's it out. So this is their flight. The flight comes with um, Oh. How many different bottles is in there? There's six bottles. Six bottles. Oh, look, they gave us little shot glasses so we can try it. Well, I brought one too, just in case. What are okay, those? so first flavor I pull out is wildflower. That sounds interesting. Smell it. Oh, orange blossom. Oh, that one smells good. Hmm, there's a twist, avocado. Oh, I wonder what that's going to taste like. A wildflower on bourbon barrel. Oh, you know I like some bourbon. <laughs> I don't care for no bourbon. I'm ready for some bourbon. <laughs> and then, oh, wildflower on Jamaican rum barrel. Yeah, that one ought to be very interesting. We and last Jamaica but not too, least, yeah, yeah. yeah, we spent a week in Jamaica and it was awesome. It is truly the, the island of love, I believe. <laughs> okay. Last one here is um, mesquite. So mesquite. here right, we so, go. So do you want to go down the line or you want to try? Uh, I think first? let's just go down the line. Okay. I'm gonna set up your little cups here. I'm just gonna try one glass, maybe. Yeah. I think it'll be fine. New mom here. Should so I? One sip. That'll do. I wanna try the bourbon one. All right, we'll get that one out of the I'll way. Get that one out of the way. Okay, so wildflower bourbon. And so I was talking to Travis. So Travis uh, is the owner with his wife, Leanne. And uh, they contacted me. Ooh, spilling some. They contacted me about showing some art there which I really appreciate. They were telling me all about their mead. So let's sample this and I will give you some more info. So this one is the Wildflower on Bourbon Barrel. Cheers. Smells like bourbon, folks. Mm -hmm. Tastes like bourbon, too. Is it? It tastes like bourbon, <laughs> <It> too. <does. laughs> I can just mm. pour that in there. I'll take it. Yeah. So just not a fan of the aftertaste of bourbon. Doesn't mean it's not good because it's got a good flavor but yeah it has like a honey bourbon but it's not as, it as is. stout and like burny as bourbon is so it's Very really true. nice it's like almost like a wine version which mead it is like a type of wine right from what i'm understanding i think it's i know it's a, a, a type of wine um but no no berries yeah no berries instead are used in it instead they use honey so it's like honey yeast and um and water yeah, it's a fermented wow. honey, I think is maybe a good way. There we go. Yeah, there you go. All right. uh, well, Leanne was telling me that Travis had a beehive when he was a kid. And um, and his grandma had the best sourdough in town. She was known for that. And so she had her own live yeast. Oh, very cool. Yeah, and so him and his dad were going, well, what can we do with this yeast? And so since they had the honey from the bees, they decided to start making mead. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I've... I've I've never experienced it. That's the first. Me That's either. It's pretty good. I like it. Okay, so which you want to go? It's 14% alcohol by volume, it says. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I shouldn't drink too much of that. No. <laughs> Especially. Probably not. Uh, yeah, I haven't drank in a while, so, you know, <laughs> might get a little happy. Yeah. So we'll try the wildflower. Okay, okay. That's, that one sounds good. There you go. It smells really sweet. It does smell sweet. Oh, that tastes like apple wine almost. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, that was what? Wildflower. Wildflower. Yeah, Gotta I might remember have to this. Try a little taste of this one. Ooh, very sweet. It does kind of taste like apple. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I, interesting. I thought it was yeah. more of a I, I, I daisy was, or something. I, yeah, I was expecting a floral aftertone. Didn't get that. But that's mm -hmm. good. Orange blossom. This is the okay. one. Did you say it smelled good? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it does smell like orange. Yep. It's like an orange wine. I'm getting grandma tipsy. <laughs> yeah, six shots in a row. Mm. <laughs> That's citrus? good. It's it's got a um, almost like an all spice flavor. Oh, that really? would be good at the holidays. Like a fall. Yeah. Instead of like a pumpkin spice, we have like an all spice. Yeah, that's what I get out of it anyway. All right, so if you want a nice fall, because we're getting ready to go into fall, orange blossom. Okay. Good. 
All right, avocado. I might have to try this one. Okay. Because, oh, there's an extra shot glass. Look at that. I'm gonna try avocado too. That's plain. Yeah. I feel warm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think? What's it smell like? It smells kind of earthy. It does. I don't smell avocado though. Mm -hmm. All right. Cheers. Interesting. It is very earthy. It is earthy. I would say, yeah. That's good. I wouldn't it's spit different. it out, but I, it would. If I had, if that was on my line of choices, it would be one or two above that bourbon one. I feel like it needs to go with a be paired with a salad. I think it would yeah, go that, really good with a salad because it has more of like a what do you call it, a bold taste? Yeah. I don't know, you're the cook, so you well, know. Well, you know what? About. I wonder too. Are they meant to be drank at room temperature? You know, I didn't ask that. We should ask. We should find out if it's room temperature or if, if chilling them improves it. So Trezo, if you guys are watching, um, yeah, let us know. Is it supposed to be chilled? Is it supposed to be warm temperature? Or if any of you viewers know, please fill us in and let us know because this is our first time. Brand new. We're new. <laughs> We're new at the mead. Oh, this is the Jamaican. The Jamaican rum should barrel. Should be playing Bob Marley or something? It should be. <laughs> That's right. Copyright, you know. I don't own the rights Wild, to this. Wildflower on Jamaican rum barrel. So I don't know Wait what the minute. rum, if it's going to be... I can smell the rum. It kind of does have a Jamaican feel. It does. Ooh. I'm okay. on the beach right now. Does it have rum? Can you taste like the liquor? I don't taste a rum taste necessarily. And I think my mouth was expecting a coconut aftertaste and yeah. it's not really there. That's that's good. There's a little dribble in there if you want to do that dribble. Ooh, but it has like a nice tone to it. Like it's uplifting. Yeah, hmm. I would drink that again. I would definitely drink that again. It's nice and light and it makes you feel happy. They should call, should have called it like the happy Jamaican. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we should have made a scorecard. We should have. I'll give that one a nine. Or yeah. I'll give that one a ten. The mesquite. Mesquite. Okay, so this, this, this might be a little interesting. Tasting. Didn't really have a smell to me. Mm -hmm. No, no smell. And it's clear. And it's clear. <laughs> I was just going to say, hmm. All the rest of them are different varying stages of amber. Some of it's like the pure one without flavor. You Maybe. know what I mean? Like it's straight. So there we go. We'll find out. You gotta even look to see if there's a card in here to tell us anything. Mmm. Is it good? Yeah, you wanna get a dribble of this one. Okay. This one's almost like uh, a, like a really light summer white wine. Ooh, I would like that. Just a drip. Reminds me of jazz on the lawn or something. Yeah, which we dearly miss. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that could be dangerous. That's, that's something I might want to slip in my pocket. Number and go one. <laughs> that's the first favorite. And then the. Wildflower? On the Jamaican barrel. Okay. Definitely orange blossom. Avocado. You forgot wildflower. That's the bourbon barrel. That's down oh, that's there at the right. choo-choo train. Okay. The, the caboose of the choo-choo train. So go over your lineup again because I was talking to you. All right. Time. So my first choice is going to be the mesquite. Oddly enough, was not expecting that at all. Then wildflower on Jamaican rum barrel. I feel like you should be dancing with it. <laughs> we don't want to scar anybody. <laughs> and then the next one would be orange blossom. Then avocado. Then the wildflower, and last but not least, this lonely little bourbon barrel, because I'm not a bourbon fan, is the only thing I would have issue with it. Otherwise, it wasn't horrible. Yeah, so, it was really good. So, if you hey, guys, thank you so much for you're welcome. sampling those for me. I may have to go take a nap now. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you guys are interested, they they have the flights available at um, Trezor Mead. Again, it's on Franklin Street. I don't think I have their address on here, but... Um, but it's, it's right where across Kelly's from bar used to be. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's across from Chemo's Hawaiian Grill. Um, and it's also near the Black Horse. I think it's right before you, if you're driving from the Roxy and going up, it's... Yeah, it's right before the Black mm -hmm. Horse. Yeah, and so uh, it's a nice little venue. 
uh, like I said, I'll be showing my work there next month. So the whole month of Definitely have a September. reason to go by. Yeah, come in, get some mead, and look at some beautiful artwork. Wear your mask. You all stay safe out there. Always. And yes, they're open, so stop in. Uh, if you want to check out their hours, I do not have their business card on me, but uh, they are on Facebook, and um, you can also, you know, Google it. So, thanks. All right, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.